So you have the track record for success, and I think that really helps quite a bit. And I think one of the best uh, examples of that was your, your grand hatching in 1979 when you got to be a, a free chicken, I guess, as, as they say, after the, uh, the, uh, the court battle that you had. So you, you were able to bring in you know, 47,000 people to what traditionally was, I guess, around 17,000 or so showing up at the Padres games at the time, which was a huge victory. <laughs> And so, you know, how did you make that happen? I mean, you know, that was a big win for you. <laughs> if I have to say to myself, Reed, that was one for the books. <laughs> I got to tell you, it was a magical moment. Sports historians have called it one of the greatest promotions ever conceived. And we did it by the seat of our pants. Um, uh, essentially, the Padres wanted me to come back to do this uh, uh, day back after I became like a free agent chicken, so to speak. But it was my idea to create a ceremony, to have a grand hatching, to re birth, the new chicken has returned after I had just been fired from by my radio station sponsors. So um, I, I thought of the, an idea of like, well, where do chickens come from? Well, an egg. Well, let's take it. Let's cube the thing. Let's make it bigger than life. You know, let's let's have a hatching. And um, and so uh, created the styrofoam egg. And uh, and what I did, I promoted the thing like a wrestling match to get people out there. Now, let alone it was good news big news in San Diego that I had been fired and it, it was front page effect that, uh, oh, what's a chicken going to do now? So I decided when I come back, well, it's easy to tap in to all that interest that was out there. And so I create an elaborate ceremony, promote the thing like a wrestling match. Never say no to any microphone. Be why and why? Because all these others have an interest. They all want to hear the story. Give it to them. Tell them. It's, you know, it helps. It helps the cause for everyone involved. And so uh, um, I promoted the thing on radio, on television, in person. Uh, I, I would go around the grand hashing coming Friday night and more than 47,000 people turned out for that event. And uh, it was quite a magical moment, hatching it of that gi gigantic styrofoam egg. And what, you know, what, what was I doing, Reed? What was I doing? All I was providing is promising a sense of fun. I was selling sizzle. I was selling the sizzle and painting the imagination, painting the canvas with imagination. And, and people came out. And what the heck? I was promising them three hours of fun on a Friday night. And they came for that. The trick is to deliver. And when you deliver on that, then you build credibility. And then uh, they, they follow you. They follow you from there. And, and it, was, it was a great moment. And so I sold the sizzle, delivered. Uh, what I was talking about and uh, made it happen.